Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week continues on with the theme of how to manage two Macs effectively. It's really focused on managing a laptop and a desktop Mac, but the show does contain some useful tips and applications that will also help if you're trying to manage multiple Macs in a family environment. As promised, this week we're going to take a look at some of the options available when using iTunes with multiple machines, and I'll take a look at iPhoto and Aperture in a later show. As a slight diversion, I'll also revisit setting up port forwarding, in this case to allow you to access your iTunes library remotely across the internet, either via a web browser or your iPhone or iPod Touch. Let's start this week's show by taking a look at managing iTunes on multiple Macs. Now, in order to explain what I've done with iTunes, I really need to explain the scenario that I'm trying to address and why I've reached the solution that I have. Now, the particular solution that I've developed mightn't be applicable to you, but it might give you some ideas anyway. But uh, my own scenario is that I have a central desktop machine, which is my main iTunes library on. Now, currently, there's about 94 gigabytes of music on that main library, and I think about 100 gigabytes of movie data as well. Now, the main problem I needed to address was one of podcasts, in that I'm subscribed to lots of different podcasts. And the problem arises that when I'm away from my desktop, I can't synchronize my iPhone uh, with my podcasts. So if I'm away for a couple of days, I can't actually download any new podcasts to my iPhone. Now, I appreciate you can download podcasts wirelessly from the iTunes store, but I really am quite happy with my subscription list of podcasts. So the uh, solution that I actually went with was to move the uh, synchronization of podcasts across to my laptop and then use a laptop as the device to synchronize with my iPhone. But of course, having an iTunes library on the laptop and a separate iTunes library on my main desktop machine gives other problems as well. For instance, if I buy music while I'm away, if I download music onto my laptop from, say, Amazon or from iTunes, how do I then get that across to my main desktop library? And uh, conversely, if I buy any new music or rip CDs on my desktop machine, how do I get that across to the laptop itself? Now, the way I've addressed this particular issue is to use a third-party application, and it's an application that allows you to synchronize iTunes libraries across multiple machines. Now, there are several of these applications around. The one I've chosen to go with is one called SuperSync. Uh, 